The JF-17 Thunder has become a symbol of modern air power, affordability, and smart engineering, and the 2025-2026 version of this fighter jet takes everything to a whole new level. Designed jointly by Pakistan and China, the JF-17 was never meant to be just another fighter. It was built with a clear vision, to provide cutting-edge technology, combat reliability, and upgrade flexibility at a cost far lower than Western fighter jets. On EVN Ride, Today we explore how the 2025-2026 JF-17 Thunder is shaping the future of aerial warfare and why it is gaining global attention. The latest JF-17 Thunder represents years of continuous improvement based on real operational experience. Unlike many aircraft that remain largely unchanged after induction, the JF-17 has evolved rapidly. By 2025 and 2026, the aircraft reflects lessons learned from training missions, exercises, and modern battlefield requirements. The airframe has been refined for better aerodynamics, reduced radar signature, and improved durability. These changes may not always be visible to the naked eye, but they significantly enhance performance, survivability, and mission success. One of the most important upgrades in the 2025-2026 JF-17 Thunder is its advanced avionics suite. The cockpit has been transformed into a modern digital combat environment. A large multi-function display, advanced head-up display, and hands-on throttle and stick controls allow the pilot to focus on the mission instead of managing complex systems. Situational awareness is greatly improved, enabling faster decision-making during high-speed aerial combat. On EVN Ride, we highlight how this digital cockpit brings the JF-17 closer to fifth-generation operational standards. Radar technology is another area where the JF-17 Thunder has made a major leap forward. The 2025-2026 variants are associated with advanced AESA radar systems that provide longer detection ranges, better target tracking, and improved resistance to electronic jamming. This means the aircraft can detect enemy fighters earlier, engage multiple targets simultaneously, and operate effectively in electronic warfare environments. In modern air combat, Radar superiority often determines victory before a missile is even launched, and the JF-17 Thunder is designed to compete in this critical domain. Weapons capability has always been one of the strongest points of the JF-17 program, and the latest versions push this strength even further. The aircraft is capable of carrying a wide range of air-to-air -air missiles, precision-guided air-to-ground weapons, and anti-ship missiles. This multi-role flexibility allows the JF-17 Thunder to perform air superiority, ground attack, maritime strike, and reconnaissance missions with equal effectiveness. For air forces with limited budgets, this versatility is invaluable. As discussed on EVN Ride, one aircraft performing multiple roles significantly reduces operational costs. Engine performance in the 2025-2026 JF-17 Thunder focuses on reliability and efficiency. While not designed to compete directly with heavy twin-engine fighters, the JF-17's power plant provides an excellent balance between thrust, fuel consumption, and maintenance simplicity. This allows for high sortie rates and lower downtime, which are critical during prolonged operations. The aircraft's agility at low and medium altitudes makes it especially effective in regional defense scenarios where rapid response is essential. Another key advantage of the JF-17 Thunder is its ease of maintenance and upgrade potential. The modular design allows systems to be replaced or upgraded without major structural changes. This means the 2025-2026 JF-17 can continue evolving as new technologies become available. On EVN Ride, we often emphasize that a fighter jet's true strength lies not only in its current capabilities but in how easily it can adapt to future threats. From a strategic perspective, the JF-17 Thunder plays a crucial role in strengthening air defense independence. Countries operating this aircraft are not overly dependent on a single foreign supplier for upgrades or spare parts. This strategic flexibility is especially important in today's complex geopolitical environment. The 2025-2026 JF-17 represents a balance between performance, sovereignty, and cost-effectiveness that few other fighters can match. Training and pilot transition have also been improved with the latest JF-17 Thunder variants. Advanced simulators, improved flight control systems, and user-friendly avionics reduce training time while enhancing combat readiness. Pilots can transition more easily from older aircraft, 
making the JF-17 an ideal replacement for aging fighter fleets. As highlighted on EVN Ride, this efficiency allows air forces to maintain high readiness levels without excessive training costs. When comparing the JF-17 Thunder to more expensive Western fighters, it becomes clear that raw cost does not equal combat effectiveness. While some jets may have superior stealth or engine power, they also come with massive acquisition and maintenance expenses. The 2025-2026 JF-17 Thunder offers a practical alternative, delivering modern combat capabilities at a fraction of the cost. This is one of the main reasons it continues to attract interest from air forces around the world. In conclusion, the 2025-2026 JF-17 Thunder is not just an upgrade, it is a statement of smart design, strategic thinking, and modern warfare adaptability. It proves that advanced fighter technology does not have to be limited to a few wealthy nations. With its modern avionics, advanced radar, versatile weapons, and cost-effective op-